Hey everybody, it's Harry from Step Daddy Barbecue, the YouTube channel that teaches you how to master barbecue so you can spread barbecue love. A lot of you have told me that I have 300 videos on my channel already, almost 40 plus videos cooking brisket, but where are the chicken recipes? You know that uh, I won First Place USA in the chicken category, but you're asking me, how come there are no chicken recipes on my website? Well, I have a small number of chicken recipes focused on competition chicken, but in today's episode, we're going to show you a fun little cook using some of the ingredients found in Los Angeles, like chamoy, my First Place USA chicken rub, a little bit of Bacardi rum to cook you guys up a wonderful volcano chicken, slap your daddy style. Let's go ahead and prep the chicken now. This is a super easy recipe because it only has two ingredients. We have a little bit of a chamoy and uh, this is going to be used as a seasoning marinade on the chicken and then we're just going to apply your favorite rub any rub you want is fine you don't have to use mine even salt and pepper works really well so i'm going to put a little bit of the uh, chamoy here before you start always shake it first you might be wondering what uh, chamoy is so it's actually a fruit sauce common in uh, mexican cuisine and uh, it's salty sweet spicy it's a uh, very common in los angeles because the food scene here involves a lot of mexican flavors some people say this, this encapsulates kind of mexican flavor in a bite the origin of chama is quite interesting it's actually not from mexican origin or at least not from a person from mexico it actually has origins in japan story goes is that there was a gentleman named tekichi aiwade and he was a Japanese immigrant to Mexico and he adopted something called the Japanese umeboshi. Umeboshi is kind of like a pickled green apricot that, that you see in Japanese grocery stores. So what Teikichi did is that he used the apricots and uh, he made a little brine and then soaked it up and called it chamoy and this was done in the 1950s. So when you take the uh, liquid from the brine mix of the pickling the apricots you mix it with chili powder, it becomes a red liquid called chamoy. I'm going to add some of my First Place USA chicken rub onto the chicken here. Give it a nice thick coat. The chamoy is actually uh, good for cooking barbecue and I've used chamoy as uh, part of my secret blend of uh, rubs and spices and marinades and sauces to win 100 plus first places all over America and the world uh, on the competition circuit. So don't tell anybody, this is our secret. and. Uh, I don't want my competitors to know that I'm using chamoy, but you guys are my subscribers and my viewers on my channel. It's okay for me to share that with you, but don't tell my competitors that I'm using chamoy, okay, please? Some of you who bought my chicken wrap who live in the humid areas, notice that sometimes the chicken wrap clumps up a little bit. No problemo, just break it up with a little fork and you'll be fine. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna mount the chicken now on a beer can holder. There are many beer can holders on the marketplace, but this is the one that I like the best because a lot of them are kind of hollow. So what happens is when you cook the chicken, all the chicken fat drips into your pit, makes a one hell of a mess in Queen Lab. This design has a little tray at the bottom. So when you mount the chicken, all the drippings catch on the tray, eases up on the cleanup. This can be found in my Amazon store link in the description below. I'm gonna mount the chicken now. Put it through the cavity. So. Small chicken, doesn't quite fit. Okay, let's finish the seasoning. One of the tips for using the Weber smoke fire is to use a cake pan, and you want to put a cake pan into the pit. And uh, so to catch the grease so that uh, it's easier to clean. The drain holes for the pit are actually these holes here. See? And you want to make sure that it's clean so that the oil that flows into the smoke fire 
here's the fire pot it will flow right into the hole here so you want to make sure that the drain holes are not clogged we put a pig pan like so and that will catch most of the grease during the cook we repeat the same thing for the other side this tip will allow you to keep your smoke fire clean with minimal cleanup afterwards we're now doing the same thing onto the right side of the smoke fire. Again, these are the vent holes here. So you gotta keep, make sure that the grease can fall through the vent here. Go down to the grease trap below. We're gonna put our pack cake pan right here to catch the grease. And our baffle is already in place and we're ready to go. Our Weber smoke fire pellet grill is at 275. We're gonna put the chicken in now. All right, it's about done at 165, ready to go. Let's give it a little bit of flambe. This is why it's called Volcano Chicken. Let's make a simple chow moi butter sauce to go with our chicken. I'm gonna add some chow moi to some butter. Spice it with a little bit of hot sauce. I'm gonna use some tapatio. Go ahead and whisk the uh, chow moi and the tapatio. It's a hint of salt. chicken looks absolutely amazing. We did a little volcano flambe at the end just to have fun. Now for the best part, I'm going to take a bite from the chicken. I like the thigh, so I'm going to grab a piece from the thigh. Absolutely beautiful, gorgeous uh, skin and crust. Let's take a bite. This bite through skin. Great flavor. Smell that smoke. The hint of the chamoy. Very spicy, which is how I like it. Really, really great chicken. I'm going to have another bite. Absolutely delicious. That was the thigh. That was the dark meat. Beans is jumping on me. I'll let, let him have some in a little bit. Let me try the one from the white meat now. Got a little bit of the uh, chamoy and the butter and uh, sauce on it, hot sauce on it. Right? Super moist breast meat. Super juicy here. Absolutely fantastic flavor. That skin with the chamoy 
works really, really well with the Stepanetti rub. Uh, if you ever tried cooking a, a chamoy chicken, super easy. Throw it on a beer can cooker and cook it for, this was about probably, uh, I wanna say just three and a half hours or so. I just kind of let it run by itself on my pellet cooker and I uh, wanted to get the temperature to be about 160-ish in the breast, 170 in the thigh. Absolutely, absolutely perfect bite here. Look at how gorgeous this thing looks here. It's all drippy and delicious. Take a look at the wing part here. This is what I like. This kind of like look at the color of the wing. Absolutely gorgeous piece of chicken here. So enough of me tasting. Now I'm going to make a little plate for Mr. Beans to see if he likes it. All right, Mr. Beans is ready for his share. We have a little bit of dark meat and a little bit of uh, white meat here. You ready, Beans? Okay, with no brisket today, but we're going to have you some chicken. Go ahead, go. Okay, he's heading for the dark meat first. Switching over to the white meat next. Licking the plate, so it must be good. Okay, beans. Good job. You like it? Thanks for stopping by and watching my Cha Moi chicken episode. Super easy peasy recipe. Just two ingredients. A little bit of a shimmer with the Cha Moi and add your favorite chicken rub on. Cook it at about 300 degrees, 275 degrees until the internal temperature is 165 in the breast about 170 in the thigh and you got yourself some perfect chicken. You can serve this with rice or noodles or just by itself. It's absolutely going to be fantastic. I want to do a shout out to all my Patreons who've been helping support my channel to fund my production costs for my projects and keeping the lights on. And until the next video, please like, subscribe and share and we will see you.